Howdy, I'm Russ Kwansvich. I'm the AUB team lead for 2019-2020. I'm a senior in Manufacturing Mechanical Engineering Technology. Howdy, I'm Kristen, a rising junior in Mechanical Engineering Honors, and I'm the AUB project manager. Howdy, my name is Lalita Gadam. I'm a multidisciplinary engineering senior, and I'm team secretary for AUB. Howdy, my name is Summer Gearhart. I am a junior computer engineering student, and I am the video editor for We AUB. Howdy, my name is Bailey Boyd, and I am a Senior Electronic Systems Engineering Technology major, and I am the current electrical lead for WE AUV. Howdy, we are Texas A&M's WE AUV team. We are supported by the Women in Engineering program at our university. We have competed in the RoboSub competition for four years with Ula, Sharkbait, Nessie, and Minnow. Our newest vehicle for this year's competition is Ray. It is our mission to teach important engineering skills and provide unique opportunities for underrepresented students. Our team is made up of 30 female undergraduate students. We have members of all experience levels and engineering majors in order to ensure that we can reach as many students as possible. Ray's construction was divided into three sections, mechanical, electrical, and programming, which were coordinated by Rose Quantz Fitch. The mechanical fabrication was led by Stephanie Frand and comprises the main hull, internal, and external frame. The main hull is made of an aluminum midcap with removable panels and end caps for convenient electrical access. The vehicle's main hull enclosure is made out of transparent acrylic and is attached to the aluminum components with epoxy. The end caps were redesigned and manufactured to accommodate the new enclosed digital stereo vision camera. The internal frame was designed with custom fitted 3D printed parts to increase internal organization, assist with wire management, and to accommodate the addition of the Jetson. The external frame is made of 8th inch aluminum plates with water jet cutouts to allow for more secure component connections, to decrease drag, and to allow for the addition of mechanisms and various sensors. The electrical overhaul was led by Bailey Voigt and comprises power distribution, thrusters, sensors, and our newest addition, the Jetson TX2. This year, the electrical sub-team redesigned the power system of the vehicle entirely. The thruster power distribution volume was greatly decreased with this year's transition from large block terminals to a new PCB. The team also created new battery safety measures in order to protect our new higher voltage LiPo batteries. The upgraded batteries allowed for additional upgrades to the system, as well as eliminating the need for the vehicle's batteries to be in series. The power system also received an upgraded waterproof kill switch and a more reliable mission switch. A Teensy microcontroller was added to the system with a custom shield to allow for additional sensors, plus a new custom shield for our current Arduino to allow for complete ESC control. A custom PCB was designed in order to replace the parallel connected block terminals connected to the ESCs. In addition, precautionary fuses were embedded for each ESC and in various other components as needed to ensure the vehicle and team's safety. Hydrophone research was started and a separate hydrophone subsystem was designed that includes Aquarian H2A hydrophones. The programming synthesis was led by Lolita Gautam and Lauren Kernel and comprises motion control, image processing, machine learning, and data transfer. A range of sensors like a stereo vision camera, pressure sensor, and IMU were all synced together to facilitate data transfer across the system. The main control and brain of this communication was controlled by Ross. We analyzed visual data with machine learning and object detection to identify obstacles and guidance objects in the competition environment, such as the gate and orange markers. For the past four years, we have designed and produced a new vehicle for each year of competition in order to best teach new members the full process of developing an autonomous underwater vehicle. This is the first year that we have reused and modified successful parts such as the frame and midcap from previous vehicles. Our primary focus for this competition is to pass through the gate in order to qualify. In order to accomplish this, we have been working to implement object detection and tracking with our new camera system. We are fully confident that we would be able to successfully complete maneuvering our vehicle through the gate at competition. Our second goal is to touch the buoys. We focused on the ability to track the orange markers in order to reach the task easily and designed an arm to make touching the buoys easier. We are confident that we would succeed in completing these tasks as well. 
Finally, we are working towards having the ability to drop markers into the bin. In addition to the arm, we also designed a dropper. We believe that we would be able to complete this task based on our designs, however we have not been able to test these mechanisms as much as necessary in order to have full confidence in the accurate completion of this task. Our process began with recruiting new team members and taking time to teach them skills they would need to be successful on the team through hands-on workshops. These skills include CAD programs, milling, soldering, Python, GitHub, and ROS. For the remainder of the fall semester, we design and review our vehicle. This is accomplished by looking at our previous successes and failures and taking what we have learned at competition to optimize this year's vehicle. Because we decided to re-implement parts from past years, we are able to take the best features from our vehicles. In the spring, our focus was fabrication and testing. Through the machine shop on our campus, we fabricated our parts and gave members the chance to gain hands-on fabrication experience. We do our underwater testing either on campus in a fountain, as a testament to our university traditions, or in a local pool when we can. Due to the mandated shutdown, we were unable to retrieve or physically work on any parts of our AUV as our machine shop was repurposed to provide necessary equipment such as PPE to our local hospitals. We continued to work virtually and connected with our members via Zoom. During weekly meetings, we were able to continue the designs of mechanisms, internal frame, electronic systems that include a hydrophone subsystem, and program for our vehicle using ROS. Through online platforms, we have also been hosting online workshops, including Fusion 360, OpenCV, and ROS tutorials. Our team was able to order a new camera and we began to teach the system correct object identification through machine learning with TensorFlow and YOLO v3. We have taken full advantage of this time to refine our documentation system and create a more structured syllabus so that when the next class joins us, we will be able to pass on our technical skills more efficiently. Through these restrictions, we have also been able to successfully adapt and use the excess time to work on new subsystems, additional mechanisms, and solidify plans for the upcoming year. Thank you so much to our sponsors, who help make what we do possible. We appreciate the opportunity to compete in RoboSub 2020 remotely and look forward to next year. Thanks, and gig'em! Gig